Welcome back to Factorio. So I just gotta, I gotta secure my land really. That's the whole point right now. So now, this is blocked off here, and here, and here, and here, and they still could get around this. So I haven't secured, I haven't secured this yet, but I should. I should probably also drop off radars in various places. You know, I should test out the, uh, the flamethrowers. If I put a pump jack here, and then I put a flamethrower and then I go antagonize these guys a little bit. Um, yeah. Well. Um, yeah, so they burn down the trees. And that's just from pump jack and flame turrets. That's uh, that's not bad, and that's three turrets. Oh, uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. That's they're not getting through that. Right, so I have not yet secured, well, from here to here, really. I could just, I could just finish that off, I suppose. <laughs> Oh man, I'm out of laser turrets. Dang it. Okay. And walls. Right. I 
question is, has that made much of a difference in my science? Well, it seems to be that copper is the bottleneck in the green ships at the moment. So I should probably smelt um, copper off-site as well. I think I'm going to take this down. Although, you know, if you think about it, I'm still... I've got lots of copper going down here that isn't actually... Well, okay, so here's the copper coming out. Copper's going out here. Oh. So I am using the combined copper of both. Isn't that interesting? So I've... Hmm. Yeah, I need lots... I need lots more copper. Really, I do. So coal is for explosives way down here, right? And and it's for grenades for the military science packs down here. And smelting, but it shouldn't be for smelting. Yep, that's cool. That's cool. I can I can reduce that. Let's think about this next one. Get myself back down there so I can see what I'm doing. Oh dear, the oil's empty. Why is the oil empty? It's full of oil. That's weird. So what am I doing? I'm putting an intersection here so I can get the train over here for this oil. But I also want to make another one of these here, hopefully. And that's the question of whether I'll be able to do that. Hmm. I could fit it here, actually. That could work. Yeah, let's try it. Let's try this one. It's a little ambitious in, in terms of <clears throat> fitting, but it could work. So this is the problem that I was talking about a while back where the bots randomly place objects rather than whatever's closest. Because if they placed whatever's closest, then I could direct them by walking to the places I want done first. And, you know, and, and keeping everything short distance to myself. But now there's so much flight time, it just wastes all kinds of time while I'm waiting for bots to do their job.
At least I'm making yellow science again. Should do it. Working on building that copper smelting uh, outpost, and it's it's nearly done. It's nearly done. run out of fuel. It goes a long ways on one rocket fuel, eh? Ooh, look at that. Look at that. The, the train even came. It just came <laughs> and dropped off a bunch of copper ore and it's like, yeah, just because I named it copper ore unload and, and it's like, yep, it just, it just showed up. Now I just got to set up a train for uh, copper plates. Let's do that. Copper plate empty, when empty cargo inventory, go to load and wait until full. When full, go to unload and wait until empty. And I just got to give it a little bit of fuel and then tell it to go here. And then I have to give it a uh, a place to unload the iron plates or the copper plates rather. Whoa, that just about creamed me. <laughs> okay, so this is the um, iron plate unload. So this will be the copper plate and load. And we'll give it the same Okay, so the copper not I mean the iron iron ore still needs to come in here. Just not on two lines. Also this is the only way I get steel, so I should probably put the priorities even again. 50. Maybe the next load. It's pretty amazing. Honestly, it is. Now, it's going to the waiting area because the um, this is not full. It's only got 5,400 iron ore. So it means I need to get another. Oh, it's getting lower. It's getting lower. I need to harness the power of this area right here, which is one of the reasons I was 
working down here to secure this area. And look, copper plates. Great. Now, we do not need to bring copper ore in at all. In fact, because we don't need... Let me just make sure. Copper ore is used in making copper plates and something else. So... This? No, not this. Maybe this? No. Well, where does the copper normally come in? Right here, this one. This one should be copper plate unload. And then this one I'll just rename I'll unload without, you know, because that way what ends up happening is um, I want the copper plates to be dropped off in the place the copper ore used to be dropped off, which is right here. Here we go. We'll let that one run through. So the copper plates will come in here. Um, but instead of being smelted, they're already smelted. about that just yet. We will carry on as is. I think everything looks really, really good for copper plates now. It's funny how easily that came together. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take down the entire smelting line for copper plates in the base. even though I still have a, uh, a full saturated belt of copper come in here it never makes it to the to the end it just never makes it so that tells me I need blue belts but yeah I mean I could I could do that I got hmm I might have to do something tricky I need lubricant for blue belts. Oh, here it is. Actually, I, I've got the whole setup right here. So what I'll do is I will... Um, wait, what's the, what's the deal with power? Power just went out. Well, you know what? I probably ended up cutting power accidentally. Yep. Here, let's fix that. There we go. So this needs gears. Well, hang on, hang on, hang on. We'll just make this a requester chest. Yeah, that should do it. Make me blue belts. Also, make me blue splitters. Okay, so now I should be able to get a bit more copper into this line over here. And the reason is because I'll replace this with a blue splitter. And we'll put blue belts here. Now, it's 
interesting that the copper is no longer coming in. Um, oh, well, that's probably because... Yeah, yeah, I know why. <laughs> this is why. There we go. There we go. That should do it. Also, I'll, I'll give it a left priority. Oh boy. Wow, look at that. Yeah, you know, um, green ships. Uh, we were capped at about 1.2k, but now... You know, if I was going to do this properly, I'd actually be making green ships off-site as well. But look at that. That's pretty cool. Got a sustained 1,500. Yeah, 1,500 per minute. Or before the max was 1,200. Oh, all right. So it's a little bit more, but uh, the rest of the copper goes down line here. And there isn't really a whole lot left over. Like if I started making low density structures in mass, then they'd be all over for copper. So I'm really interested in getting the science going. So let's take another peek at what's happening down here. We definitely have enough blue chips. Low density structures are not being made. And the reason for that is steel. It's steel that's the bottleneck. Isn't that interesting? So the steel is the bottleneck because we're not bringing the iron ore into the base. But but we are. It's right here. So where's it going? Well, it's getting made into steel right here. And then it's getting made into steel over here. Hang on. Steel. Well, you know. Fine. Okay. But is enough steel getting down here? And the answer is probably a big no. Why are we still making flying robot frames? Oh, because those are being used in science. Well, it's very clear I'm going to have to up my steel production probably probably off the main base in an outpost, just like I did with the copper and the iron. And I'm also going to have to really tap into the uh, uh, this iron down here, but I won't be able to do that until I secure this area because the pollution is going to draw these just an enormous tidal wave of bugs uh, yeah, I, I've got to I've got to secure this first. So I'm happy to do that in the next episode. So we'll just leave it here for now. It's looking like everything else is working pretty well. Not even getting close to the power drought. Hmm. Yep, everything's looking good. Atomic bomb is almost done. Maybe what we'll do is we'll clear out the bugs with atomic bombs uh, in the next episode once this research is done. What does it take to build those things anyway? Ten explosives and a hundred, oh man, a hundred uranium. Well, how much do we actually have? I might start getting a lot more Kovrex going because... Um, Let's get it all in one spot. There we go. So we have 905 uh, enriched uranium. 905. And 1100 of the regular stuff. Which is kind of a concern because... 
Oh wait. Well, where's the regular? Where's the regular uranium? Where's the re uranium ore? Man, I haven't seen this in ages. What's the uranium train doing? Well, it's telling it to go to load, but for some reason, it can't. Oh, my goodness. Why have these all stopped? Missing required fluid. Really? So the sulfuric acid is not happening. Oh, well, that's weird. So, there we go. Man, how long has that been like that? All right, it's working again. Well, uh, <laughs> we're kind of surrounded by bugs in an unprotected way. I should probably at least put up a little bit of defenses. There we go. Now, if they come, they'll probably get killed. Probably. I'm curious. So, uranium. Uranium ore production. An hour, 10 hours, 50 hours. <clears throat> the last time we did uranium ore production was 11 hours ago. Shit. 18 hours ago. Nice to see everything is still going smooth here. Now we're just not making enough steel to do the science. Not even close. So um, I'm thinking, I'm thinking offsite steel for the next, as the next goal, and then securing. You know, and then getting getting atomic bombs, maybe, and blasting the hell out of these guys, so that I can secure um, secure this area, and then mine mine out this iron ore right here, and then we'll um, <clears throat> maybe we'll put some uh, some steel smelting, you know, like here or something. Also collect this uranium here because it's, it's in our territory. We might as well take it. And this oil here. And this oil here. Plenty to do. So that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time.